YouTube, I'm gonna do a video on being an introverted extrovert or an outgoing introvert. And what that means is basically someone who loves being alone, loves being alone while with people. Um, someone who recharges with deep conversations and not a whole lot of small talk. So this is largely for creative people that are maybe ENFPs, INFPs, or XNFPs. I'm one of those three. I go back and forth. I'm somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a story about ways that I express my introverted extroversion and uh, ways that I get to be around people but be completely alone at the same time. I'm going to talk a little bit about personalities and artists and how many of us tend to be on that fine line between introvert and extrovert. And she If you can relate to this, comment below. My first way to do this is to read in public. I absolutely love reading in public. It gives you the option of whether you want to be introverted or extroverted. Like you, you can, you have the option to look up and make eye contact with people and talk to people, but you also have the option to not move your eyes off the page. You can put headphones on and not talk to anyone if you want to. Number two, draw or create artwork in public. A painting or drawing in a coffee shop, painting or drawing in on a street, drawing a building, drawing in a park, any of those things are great ways to be introverted extroverts as well. Number three, dancing. I love going out and dancing. I love, like, I can be the craziest dancer on the dance floor and completely sober. I just, I love dancing. I love it. I love it. But you can be alone. Like, you don't have to talk to people while you dance. Like, you can close your eyes and just dance. And you don't have to talk. Like, you are with people and with friends and, and it's a social activity, but it's not. It's solo. It's on your own. It's, it's in your own head. And I love that. Number four nap in public. I did this was at a conference, a, a Young Life Leader conference, and we, I don't remember why, like we had, we'd been around people a lot, and I was just like ready to check out, like so I, I sat in, we were at this table, we were like getting ready for dinner, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna check out, and so I went, like, and I took a nap, I, I was awake, but I was like, I just like took a nap under the table, and I like, like, I was like against a wall, like, under my chair and under the table and I just I breathe and I just like I could hear everything um but I just I needed to not be in a conversation I needed to not fake a smile when I was exhausted I needed to just be alone and be by myself and I get like that when I'm around people too much like I love people I I am outgoing I love people I love it but I need time to myself number 5 sit in a corner I was at a friend's house and he had people over and I just sat on the floor against the wall in a corner the entire night. I think I talked to maybe like one or two people for like two minutes each. I just, I wasn't in the mood for small talk. I wasn't in the mood to talk to people I knew. I wasn't in the mood to go deep. I just, but I wanted to be around people. So I just sat there. I just sat there all night long. And people were like, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm like, I'm great. Like, I just am not in the mood to talk. Like, I just don't want to. And number six, hide under the stairs. Everyone walks by. You don't even have to acknowledge them. Like, you can ignore them completely. And if you're in a corner and in a good spot, they'll usually leave you alone. I did this in college. Like, there were a couple of corners, like, under stairways a lot of times. <laughs> where, like, I would just sit and read. And, and they were, um, like, there'd be a chair there maybe or something. So, like, it wasn't, like, an on an inappropriate place but um but yeah like finding a corner or a stairway or a, a park bench or a coffee shop or any of these things great those are some of the ways that I've learned to be an introverted extrovert and to like deal with being that or being an xnfp or whatever you want to call it I think it is something that's super uh relevant for artists so if if you can relate to this comment below if you can relate let me know so if you like this kind of like weird artist personality video, let me know and I will keep making them, so.